just getting ready to put the last final touches on the preparation to head back to Arizona. Beautiful sunrise this morning. I hope you can hear them tree frogs. They are singing their hearts out. Trees are putting leaves on. Definitely springtime in the Ozarks. It's my daughter's place in Salem Springs, Arkansas. This is just the first leg. I'm going to try to get uh, 250 miles in. I've got a campsite that I'm going to try to find over by Fairview, Oklahoma. We'll let you see it later. Mexico, where I take 125 south going down to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico.
Bonita, Oklahoma on Route 66. Here's the campground I was looking for. It's also a boat ramp, but it's actually both. There's a van dweller parked right over there, Class A over here, and that's all the share except for fishermen. 
So you get uh, a place for a fire. It's an old park, so the old table's in pretty bad shape. This one right here, pretty bad. Two miles off of Highway 60. Wooded. When these trees have leaves on, your spot's gonna be shaded. I did not notice any trash cans. There is a really, really old fashioned pit toilet over there. Right over, right over there. Old fashioned pit toilet. Oklahoma has quite a few of those in their, their little state parks like this. But yeah, uh, there's absolutely no Verizon. Zero. But, uh, no, no cell signal at all. So I won't be stopping here. I'll pull on back out and head towards No Water. Run over to No Water. Paul Husk. Paul. Paul. Paul Husky. Uh, on west. This site was. I found this on free campsites.net. Not very many free campsites posted on that on that app in this area. It said there's a paved road all the way in, but it's an old enough review that uh, part of the road has fallen, fall, fallen apart and it's just gravel now and it's washboard probably the first probably the first mile and then it turns into a decent dirt road I mean a decent paved road and you come right out here and no problem two potholes uh, you have to watch for those just a nice wooded area there's a a wet area there. It is a wetland, so there's water everywhere. There's the boat ramp. I don't know what river that is, but it's nice looking when you're from Arizona. Any kind of water looks good. Here's a neat little camp area right here on the side of Well, when it's not wet, looks like you could get in here and get stuck. You got a little fire pit right back there. Nice little clearing back here. Yeah, pretty good size. A couple of people could sit back here. And you got the rear view. Nasty fire pit, of course. That's trash down there on the bank. Yeah, the water's a bit far out there. Probably shallow too. I thought maybe you could fish right here, but probably not. Anyway, we'll go up here and I'll show you that old style pit toilet. So they shape the road then coming out here. And the rest of the park. I wouldn't be surprised if the state's not taking care of it now. This old toilet may not even be open. But he shotgunned it. So it is a his and hers. No door. You just go around till you get inside and here it is. Nasty. No, it doesn't get serviced. 
That hadn't been cleaned out in a long time. So there's the van over there. I'm gonna walk across here and uh, head back over there and pull out. Yeah, so there's there's no trash cans anywhere. So this is definitely true boondocking. It's free. I can then pack it out. It would be a nice quiet place to pull in for a night or even stay a couple of days if you didn't need the internet yeah and I don't have Verizon so I can't test anything else so at this point that'll be uh, the review on this I'll leave a uh, screenshot of the Information on freecampsite.net. Okay, I'm gonna pack up and move on out of here. This is uh, campsite review number two. This is actually just a city parking lot in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. You can find it on freecampsites.net. Paved level. The site information on the on the app says that uh, they allow you to park here overnight. Semis like to. Right by the police station, so it's pretty safe. Looks like trash cans all over the place. A dumpster. Two trash cans. So the city maintains this, so they have trash uh, cans out. You can see the semis use it. There's a uh, a little boy trailer that's been dropped. And I guess at night there'll be several semis that pull in here and use this for their layover. But it says it's quiet and safe. So look for it on the. Uh, freecampsites.net I'll have a snapshot of the page in the app I'm not stopping here because it's too early in the day I'm going to go on out to one more spot that's close to Paul Huska and check it out then I'll move on west, probably stay at one of the picnic areas on 60 West.